Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jaka. This is a class for menstrual cramps or moon day cramps, if you will. However, um, it's just going to be a gentle, low and slow flow, very nurturing um, and grounding. So, not just for the ladies, for anyone who wants to relax and uh, unwind, get a little grounded. For this class, you do not need a mat. But if you have one, great. You will need a block. Just a regular old yoga block. And then you will also need a bolster. Whatever kind of bolster you have. And if you don't have a bolster, you can also use a foam roller or just a pillow. And we'll just double it up. But we won't be using that until towards the end of class. So um, grab your stuff and get yourself set up. And let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin in a standing position. Grab your block and bring it to the top of your mat. And um, I should have mentioned, it'll be handy to do this next to a wall for a little bit of balance support. And if that's just not possible for you, grab like your broomstick or if you happen to have a dowel kicking around, that works because we're going to be putting one foot on the block. And it just, if your balance isn't, you know, really great then it helps to have a little something to support you unless of course you don't need it or you want to challenge your balance that's fine too anyway you want to do it get yourself ready block is at the top of your mat and you're going to stand your right foot on the block hands come to the hips or to a wall or to your dowel whatever lift the left foot off the ground and then we're going to hike the left hip up pull it towards the armpit and lower the left hip down so the movement is coming from the hips. It looks a little funny. It might feel a little bit funny. This is actually really good for balance training and for your hips. But we'll go, and if you need to stop at the bottom and just tap your toes, totally fine. Okay, we're just getting some movement in the hips, in the pelvis area, in and around all the, the parts that get a little crampy. Keep going for five, four, up, down, two, one, and lower the left foot down. Just slide your block over, stand on the block with your left foot this time. Hands to wall, hands to dowel, hands to hips, whatever you need. Come onto your right tippy toes. And then when you find your balance, grounding down through the big toe mound, pinky toe mound, heel of the left foot, slight bend in the left knee, hover your right foot off the ground, and then hike the right hip up towards the armpit, lower the right hip down. Let your left hip, left hip go in and out as it as it does. Try to find your breath. In and out through the nose. Keep moving up and down and up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the right foot down. Now, if that was feeling really good and you've already found some relief there, if you want to pause and do another round of like 10 on each side, go for it. Otherwise, we're gonna put the block away and move on. Okay, coming down onto hands and knees in a quadruped position, tabletop. Let's stack the shoulders over the wrists, stack the hips over top of the knees, and spread the feet about hips width apart. And we'll just take a couple of really gentle cat cows so the belly lowers. On an inhale, pull the chest through the arms. And as you exhale, just round the spine, tuck the chin in the chest, pull the pubic bone towards your forehead. Inhale, arch the back, drop the belly, gaze forward and up maybe. Exhale, round. All right, we're gonna come down to the left forearm. The right hand stays as is, kind of parallel to the, to the middle of the left forearm. And then we're gonna stretch the right leg back, come onto toes. Lift from the inner thigh, um, maybe hips, hip height, and then pull the heel in towards the hips, point the toes, okay? And then from here, we're just gonna draw a few really big circles with the right hip, nice and slowly, as big as you can. Doesn't really matter what the left hip is doing here. Or it, they're kind of controlled articular rotations, but a little bit more fluid. And then pause and go in the other direction, draw a few really big, the biggest circles that you can with that knee. 
keeping the heel in towards the glutes. One more. And then bring the right knee down. Come back onto your left palm. Lower the right hand down. We'll take that to the other side. Step the left foot back. Toes are tucked. Lift from the inner thigh. Pull the heel in towards the glutes. Point the toes. Draw big circles. As big as you can. And just gaze to the space towards somewhere at the top of your mat or whatever feels best on your neck. A couple more in this direction. And pause, reverse direction. We'll do a few the other way. Remember to make them as big as you can. Rooting down slightly through your right shin, right toes, right knee. A little bit of activation through the core to support you. One more big circle here. And bring the left knee down. Come back onto your right palm. Shift back onto your left forearm. Step your right toes to the back of the mat. Lift the right leg from the inner thigh. Rooting down now through the left shin, left toes, left knee, left forearm. Right hand is here to support you. We're going to take a breath. First take an inhale and extend from the crown of your head out the right toes. And as you exhale, bring the right toes to maybe tap the top corner of your mat. And then inhale, weave your leg up and back and around. Stretch it all the way over to the left. Maybe glance back to your toes. And then exhale, forward, inhale back, making a big rainbow shape, a big arc shape with that right leg. Exhale, forward, inhale back, nice and fluid here, follow that big toe with your gaze. And one more time, inhale up, back, and around, exhale, forward. Inhale to center, lower the right knee down, and then come onto the left hand, pivot on the right knee, step the right toes off the mat, stretch the left leg back, so left heel is in line with the right knee and the right palm. Adjust yourself, the outer left foot is parallel to the back of the mat, we're in a modified side plank position. Inhale, reach the left arm high, gaze to your left thumb, pause here for the exhale, root down more through the outer left foot. And inhale, reach your left arm overhead, stretch out the left side body. Take another breath in, find a little bit more length from left fingers to left foot. And then inhale, sweep your left arm back up to center and exhale, lower down, come back to your table position. Let's take that to the other side. Right forearm down, left toe step back, Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, left toes, tap the top corner of the mat. Inhale, big rainbow arc shape. Left foot comes out to the right. Follow that toe with your gaze. Exhale, up and forward. Inhale, back and around. Inhale, up or exhale, forward. Inhale, back and around. Exhale up, forward, tap. Inhale back, down and around. And exhale up, forward. One more time. Inhale back and around. Exhale up, forward, tap. Inhale, come to center. Lower the left knee down. Come on to <clears throat> both palms. We'll pivot on the left knee, step the left toes off the mat and the right foot to the back of the mat. There we go. Right heel is in line with left knee and left hand. Rooting down through the outer edge of the right foot. Inhale, the right arm comes up nice and high. Follow the thumb with your gaze. Exhale, right arm over the right ear. Look down to your left thumb or up to your right thumb, whatever's preferable on your neck. Take another breath in, root down more through your right foot and reach out more through your right fingertips. Press the hips forward with the strength of your left glute. Exhale, hold the shape. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, come back to center, up and high with the right hand. Exhale, float it down, table position. Now, we'll flip the grip, 
fingers point towards the knees, and then just shift weight side to side, back, forward, making some little circles over the wrist. You can let the base of the hand lift just to stretch out the palm a little bit. Very nice. Okay, flip the grip, fingers point forward again, step the right foot to the outer edge of the mat, so just outside of your right pinky, and knee toe the left foot back a little bit, and then just take a few pelvic circles in this kind of long lizard stance. Shifting forward and then glide the hips back, lift the right toes, come forward again and back and just let your breath be really fluid here. We're going more for fluidity than any, any kind of rigid static posture here. Just bringing some movement in and around the hips and the pelvic girdle some circles one direction and then the other very nice step the right knee back step the left foot forward and then knee toe the right knee the right left foot and the whole right leg just stretch it back a little bit you can keep the right toes tucked or untucked here and then shift weight forward pull the hips back forward and back and then once you get a little bit sort of okay with that movement, you can start to add some circular movements. Shifting from the inner edge to the outer edge of the, of the left foot here. And then maybe keep the legs as is, or the feet as is, and just isolate the movement to the pelvis. Some circles in both directions. There's no right or wrong here. We're just bringing some movement into the hips. Glide the hips back one more time, lift the left toes, pull the hips back, reach the heart forward, and then shift your weight forward again, and step the left knee back. Walk your knees forward, cross the shins, come onto your bum, and from your bum, we're gonna recline all the way down onto the back. Okay, when you get to your back, stretch your left leg straight, Pull your right knee into your chest, interlace your fingers over the shin, and squeeze the knee into the chest. Flex your left toes and press down through the back of your left knee and your left heel. And then just gentle wiggles side to side. Right toes can be flexed or pointed. Just keep a little bit of activation through the foot. I like to take little circles on my sacrum here and then rock side to side. And then we're gonna stretch that right leg straight, grab onto the back of the right thigh, press the right heel skyward, and pull the leg towards your face, but resist that by pressing your leg into your hand. Take a full breath in here, and a full breath out. And then slowly release the right foot to the mat. Bend both knees, stretch your right leg straight, Pull the left knee in towards the chest. Interlace your fingers over the left knee or shin. Flex the right toes. Press down through the back of the right knee and the right heel. Pull the left knee into the chest and flex or point the left toes. Wiggle a little bit side to side. See if you can find a little bit of extra space in there for the leg. And maybe rock side to side. Little circles on the sacrum. Breathing deep to the bottom of the belly infusing that pelvic area with your breath. On your next exhale, squeeze the knee into the chest. And then rotate hand position and leg position. We're gonna press the left heel skyward. Hands come to the back of the left thigh. Pull the leg towards your face. Press the leg away from your face. And then heel reaches upwards. Nice stretch all along the back of that leg. Full breath into the belly. Full breath out through the mouth or the nose. Slowly rebend the left leg, bring the left foot to the earth. Bend both knees. And then this time, bring your hands to tickle your ears. Elbows are wide. 
bring both knees or, or both feet off the ground. Knees are bent to about 90 degrees. We're going to straighten the left leg to hover off the earth. And then on an exhale, curl your chest off the ground, twist elbow to knee. Okay. Inhale, both knees to center. Exhale, right leg straightens, right elbow to left knee. And we're going to go back and forth. So inhale, center, exhale, switch. Inhale, center, exhale, switch. Switch, switch. I like to take a quick inhale at the center and then a quick exhale on the twist. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Relax everything down to the mat. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. Knock your knees in on one another. Palms face up to the sky. Eyes closed. Big breath into the belly. Big breath out of the mouth. I know that was a little bit of sneaky core I snuck in there, but it's really good for those muscles. Okay, open up your knees as wide as your feet, and then drop your knees to the left, and really kind of stretch that right knee away from the right hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the left. Press the left knee away from the left hip. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. I'm I'm engaging my toes here, so they're, they're lifted off the mat when I do this. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, drop the knees to the left and then roll to your left side. Come up to a seat. Cross your legs and then roll onto hands and knees once again. Walk yourself out and back, and we're going to lower all the way onto the belly into Sphinx Pose. So in Sphinx Pose, arms are parallel, forearms are parallel, fingertips point forward. Untuck the toes, and then press into the tops of the toes, especially the pinky edge. Press down through your pelvis, and your elbows, and the palms of your hand, and your fingertips, and then drag the elbows and the feet towards one another, and breathe in, stretch up and out through the roof of your mouth. Very nice. Now relax into that shape a little bit. Rock your hips from side to side. All right, step the left hand forward a little bit and lift the elbow. We're going to weave the right arm underneath the left arm and come to your right ear. Stretch the left arm straight and let the weight of your chest sink onto your right arm for a nice shoulder stretch. Stay here. Or maybe you bend the left elbow and make a fist and stack your forehead on your fist. And maybe you want to stretch the left arm all the way across to the right. And so your arms are making like an X shape and then your chin rolls into your chest or over your left bicep. <clears throat> and we stretch out through the shoulders. Both palms are facing up and I'm gently pressing down through the back of the hands. Take a full breath in here and a full breath out. One more like that. Really feel your low belly press into the mat as you breathe in. And exhale. Mm, that one feels so good. Bring your left hand back to the left side of your mat. Press into your left hand and roll to your right, bending your left knee for a spinal twist. Open up your left arm like a wing or like a cactus maybe, I like to gently press my right hand into my outer left knee and just rock gently on, on my hip. And then if you have a little bit of space, if you're okay, if you're comfortable here and your body's inviting, you can press into your right elbow and then pull your right shoulder a little bit more underneath you for a deeper twist. Ground down a little bit through your outer right foot here and maybe gaze to your left, maybe your gaze stays skyward, maybe your gaze stays to the right towards your left knee. Doesn't really matter. Wiggle or rock or find stillness, but we'll pull one more breath in here 
and direct it towards your low back and your left hip. And exhale, let it go, let it soften you. Okay, we're gonna come back into our Sphinx Pose. So roll back onto your belly, left arm forward, right arm forward, left knee stays bent, and then adjust it so that your knee is in line with your hip and your left ankle is in line with your knee. Flex your left toes, untuck the right toes, and again, press down through forearms, hands, fingertips, elbows, and pull all of that towards your right foot. Press your pelvis into the mat. Okay, we're going to pivot on the right elbow, turn the right hand over to the left so the forearm is parallel to the top of the mat, and then roll to your right hip, step your left foot onto the mat. I'm going to change sides here so you can see me. So you end up in this shape. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent, left foot is in front of the right leg. Put your left hand on your inner left knee and press the knee away from you. You can rock forward and backward. Find a spot that feels mm, interesting and then stay here or press up onto your right hand. You can let your right shoulder climb up towards your right ear and just let your chin roll into your chest. And again, rocking a little bit side to side or just wiggling is very nurturing. Roll forward, roll back, or stay still. But wherever you're at, take one more breath in. And exhale softly and slowly and calmly. And then again, coming back to the Sphinx pose, same way we came in, forearms land, left knee lands, and then slide the left leg back to your starting position in Sphinx. Turn around one more time here. From Sphinx, we root down through the forearms, the hands, the elbows, the tops of the feet, the pelvis. Pull hands and knees towards, or pull hands towards feet, feet towards hands. Lift the crown high. Breathe in, fill the low belly. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift the gaze. Walk the right hand forward. Lift the right elbow. Weave the left arm underneath the right and lower the left shoulder and the left ear to the mat or bend the right elbow, stack, or make a right, make a fist with your right hand, stack your forehead on your fist. Let the weight of your chest and your body stretch through the left shoulder, press the back of the left hand into the mat gently. Relax your hips and your legs. Stay here or crawl the right arm across your body over to the left, so you make an X with your, with your arms the other way. Chin tucks into the chest or over the right bicep as long as you can still breathe in this position and the jaw remains relaxed. Let your inner thighs roll up towards the sky. Take a full breath in, press a little bit more through the, paw, through the back of the hands and a full breath out to soften through the eye sockets, the forehead, the jaw. One more breath in into the space between the shoulder blades and exhale, soften. Bring the right hand back to the right corner of the mat, roll to the right hip, bring the right knee up and wiggle into your reclined twist. Right arm opens up like a wing or a cactus. Left arm reaches out to the left or grabs, or left hand grabs the outer right knee to help rock you a little bit on the left hip. Breathe in fully through both nostrils and breathe out fully through both nostrils. Anchor a little bit through the outer edge of the left foot and then maybe if your body's opening up enough, you can crawl that left shoulder under you a little bit more to open up, twist your spine a little bit deeper. Let's take one more breath here together. Direct the breath to the low back and the right hip area this time. Just drench that area in breath and exhale, soften. Slowly roll back to your sphinx, but keep your right knee as it is. Unravel the left arm from underneath you, both 
forearms are parallel, fingertips pointing forward, left toes are untucked. Right ankle in line with right knee, right knee in line with right hip. Half frog sphinx here, press down through forearms, fingertips, elbows, and left foot, and then pull left foot and arms towards one another, lengthen up through the roof of your mouth. Exhale, sustain the shape. Rotate hand position, pivot on the left elbow, parallel the left forearm to the top of the mat, bring the right hand back for support, roll to the left hip and step the right foot in front of the left hip, anchor through the left foot again, and then stay here rocking back and forth until you find a spot that feels right, <laughs> that feels like your body needs it, maybe just start taking some circles with the pelvis, maybe bring the right hand to the inner right knee and press it away from your face. Maybe you come up onto your left hand for a little bit deeper stretch. Let the left shoulder climb up to the right ear, let the chin roll into your chest, and then keep rocking back and forth side to side, or find stillness if that feels more enjoyable for you. Take another inhale breath here through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. Very nice. Slowly bring your forearms back to the mat, your right knee back down to the earth. Straighten your right leg into your sphinx pose and just rock your hips side to side a few times. Okay, use helping hands to make your way back into a table position and this is where we're going to grab our bolster or our pillow or the foam roller, whatever you've got. If you're using a pillow like that you sleep on, then you're just going to fold it in half to make it a little bit more dense and you're going to position that somewhere near the center point of your mat and we're just going to lay on that. So we want that to be right under our hips, our low belly or pelvic bowl region. And then come down onto forearms, untuck your toes, settle yourself in, try moving a little bit higher and a little bit lower until you find the spot that feels just right for you. And then again, you can stack your hands, you can stack a couple fists and rest your forehead on them. You can turn to one cheek with your arms out like cactuses or your hands framing the hips, palms face up or down. Maybe you want to make a little pillow with your one of your hands or both of your hands. It really doesn't matter what your hand position or your head position is here. Just find a place that is comforting. And this is how we're gonna close our practice today. You can chill here for as long as feels good. I hope you have enough time to take at least five minutes in this position. Mmm, because it's so good. Thank you for joining me, for taking time out of your day to take a little bit of care of yourself. And I'll see you again soon.